All right, guys, so this should be pretty quick. I'm going to show you how you can use your smart device or your PC to go ahead and easily change uh, and spoof your console ID. No CCAPI, nothing like that needed. Of course, you need Webman installed. This is part of the Webman tutorial, so your Webman should be installed. Your PS3 should be connected to your home network. And uh, when you have your PS3's IP address, you're simply going to open up your browser and you're going to type the IP address. Now, mine's already there. So just type the IP address and press enter and you'll come directly into uh, Webman. All right. Once you're here, you're going to scroll over to Setup tab up here in the top. And there we go. This should look pretty familiar for those of you that use Webman. Uh, now, in my last video, I talked a little bit about this stuff, so you may want to watch that one to be a little bit uh, brought up to speed because I'm not going to spend much time on any of these things. Um, make sure before we proceed that right here on this line where it says PS3 Net Server number four and PS3 Net Server number five, make sure that there's a one in each one of these two boxes. Okay, so if you're doing this from a PC um, or from a, a smart device, you must make sure that there is a one in each one of these boxes. If you're doing it from Webman right from your PS3, then you can leave these alone. This is only for people who want to make changes um, using uh, through a browser, using a smart device or a PC, and you want those changes to stick and take effect then you'll need to have a one there. Believe me, it's not going to hurt anything or do anything. It's not going to have any adverse effects. Just put a one there, all right? And uh, and then, yeah, then you scroll down here, and you simply go here to the boxes, and you start inputting your numbers. Uh, and this is so much easier than doing it with the controller, okay? So um, once you've entered your number, then that's it. Um, you can, it'll be spoofed, and you can leave them that way and every time you start up your ps3 the number that you enter right now will be the one that will be used instead of your real number so the top two boxes this box here on the left side and the box on the right side these two boxes make up your console id which is your idps so basically uh, console id uh, as well as the ps id are 32 numbers long so you have 32 characters. Basically, the first 16 numbers are going to go here in this top left box, and the next 16 numbers are going to go in the right box. And again, these two boxes are the ones that make up your console ID, right? And when you want it to be spoofed, once you've entered the number, all you do is check mark the box, right? And you can change your PS ID as well, right? Again, same thing. The first 16 numbers go here. The next 16 go here. All right. So these two bottom boxes are your are your uh, PSID. And if you want to spoof that too, you can go ahead and press check mark uh, or check mark the box there. And then you're going to come down to save. You're going to click save. All right. And then when you click save, it's going to take you. I'm going to undo this. Now on yours, you're going to leave them there. I'm going to undo it because I don't want it to change mine to zeros. When you click save, you're going to click here to restart the PS, and that's it. Every time you boot up your PS, your console will be spoofed to those numbers. Just make sure you put legit numbers here, a legit console ID and a legit PS ID. Otherwise, it's not going to work. And that's it. That's how you do it from your smart device or your PC very, very easily. It's a lot easier than using your control pad. If you're going to use your control pad and you want to enter them here, uh, you can do that as well. But when you get to the last digit, when you get to the 16th digit here, you're going to have to press triangle and then hit the start button. Because sometimes when you press start, it just deletes the last number and then like it does something weird. The cursor moves over sometimes. So to prevent that from happening, when you get to the 16th number, press triangle so it makes a space and then just press the start button and you'll be fine. And do the same thing here. Press triangle. Even if it doesn't make a space, when you hit the last digit, press triangle, then hit start and it will save it. If you don't do that, it's going to delete that last digit. And then when you click X to try and enter it again, the cursor is going to jump all the way over here to like um, 
a few numbers to the left and it it gets kind of messy i don't know why it does that but it just does so anyway don't forget the little hit the triangle trick and it'll work when you're doing it from your from a browser from your phone tablet or a pc is much much easier much quicker all right guys thanks for watching the video um, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time